In this video, we're going to talk about how to permanently get rid of bed bugs this year so you no longer wake up to itchy bites on your arms and hands, so you are no longer stressed thinking about bed bugs, and so you can get your sleep back. So to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a new video comes out. And download your free PDF titled 8 Steps to Permanently Get Rid of Bed Bugs. See the description below. Hi, my name is Jeremy Mwangelwa and we used to have a terrible bed bug infestation for over a year but we permanently got rid of it. And my goal is to help you permanently get rid of bed bugs from your home so you can sleep in peace again. So to get rid of bed bugs from your home this year, follow these steps. Step one, buy a bed bug proof mattress cover. A bed bug proof mattress cover, also known as an encasement, is an essential tool in your battle against bed bugs. These are covers that are designed to encase your mattress and box spring, creating an impenetrable barrier that bed bugs cannot breach. When picking a mattress cover, you will want to make sure that it is bed bug proof. This is really important because if the bed bugs can somehow come out of it, then your mattress won't work and you'd have spent money and the bed bugs will still be biting you. So you want to make sure that it's bed bug proof. Make sure you read the reviews wherever you buy it. The next thing you want to do is that bed bug proof mattress covers come with a way to fasten them. So make sure you buy the right size. We have a queen size mattress and a queen size mattress cover. Don't make it too large or too small. And it has to cover the entire mattress completely. You want to make sure that you starve the bed bugs completely. So that is step one. So that's the first thing that we did on this bed right here. This bed has a bed bug proof mattress cover and we have it on right now. A bed bug proof mattress cover will protect your bed from any bed bugs. Say you have bed bugs inside your mattress. When you put a mattress cover on it, around your mattress, it will prevent any bed bugs that are in your mattress from coming out. So you essentially starve them to death. And it also prevent any bed bugs that are outside in your bedroom to get into your mattress and infest your mattress. And the reason why that is important is because the goal is to make sure that we stop the bed bugs from biting you. Bed bugs that can't feed, can't breed. And if they can't breed, then they can't spread. So the first thing is to protect your mattress from being infested with bed bugs. And even if it is already infested with bed bugs, what you can do is starve those bed bugs that are already in the mattress. Now, bed bugs can live for up to 400 days without feeding. It depends on things like temperature and perhaps humidity. What you need to do is to keep the mattress cover on your mattress for at least 400 days. That's more than a year. It's about a year and two months. And that will make sure that they're completely starved. Step two, you want to buy bed bug traps. And what bed bug traps are is that they stop the bed bugs from coming up to biting you while you are sleeping in your bed. We have bed bug traps around each and every leg of this bed. This bed has a metal frame and has probably like maybe 12 legs total. And the way the bed bug traps that we use work is that the leg goes in the middle of the trap and when a bed bug is trying to come climb up the bed, it will be stopped in the tracks. I have a video where I show that the traps worked. And so the reason for that is that simply putting on a mattress cover doesn't prevent bed bugs from biting you. That's the strategy to prevent your mattress from being infested with bed bugs. Bed bugs like to be in your mattress because it's the closest, darkest place that's 
near you and they can just hide in there and come to bite you. That won't prevent any bed bugs that are outside of your bed from biting you. So the next step in this defense is to have bed bug traps. We tried different kinds of bed bug traps we had. We tried some that had like a little box with a pheromone inside that would attract the bed bugs. Those things didn't work. What worked were the round ones that you could put the leg of your bed inside and the bed bug would try to climb in and it would get stuck. So that's another step. You have to make sure that each and every bed in your house, whether it has bed bugs or not, has to have a mattress cover and a bed bug trap. And the reason is that if bed bugs haven't gone to another room yet, you want to be able to stop the spread as soon as possible because they spread fast. And when they spread, they are very hard to get rid of. So once you have your mattress cover and your bed bug traps, the next thing you want to do is you have to make sure that your bed isn't touching the wall or any of the nightstands beside your bed. Your bed shouldn't be touching anything because if it does, then bed bugs can come that way. Bed bugs will climb up the wall and get onto your bed that way, or they can climb up the nightstand and get to you that way. So the next thing is to isolate your bed from anything else. So we have defense in the bottom from the bed bug traps and we have defense from your mattress being infested. The key to stopping a bed bug infestation from spreading is to make sure the bed bugs don't bite you anymore. Bed bugs that can't feed can't breed. Remember that. And bed bugs that can't breed can't spread. So once you stop that, that's the most important thing because it will also give you peace of mind. Struggling with bed bugs is a psychological nightmare. It is horrible. You feel embarrassed. You feel tired. You can't sleep. You can't get your rest every night because you're worried about bed bugs. You feel itchy sometimes and you wake up and you can't see the bed bug. It is a psychological nightmare. It is a torture. So if we can prevent the bed bugs from biting you and give you some peace of mind, you will have the mental strength to fight the bed bugs and to win this war. So once you have done that, which are defensive moves, the next thing you need to do is to do offensive moves. That is, you have to kill the bed bugs. So we use two kinds of sprays. In step three, you want to buy bed bug spray that kills instantly. You can find these bed bug sprays at places like Walmart and they come in a can and all you got to do is just spray the bed bugs whenever you see them. But what we did also is we used that spray and we just cleaned out the dressers, cleaned out the nightstands, any place, you know, the, anything under the bed. We, we had things like luggage under the bed. You clean that out, you just spray with that. And we found many bed bugs in the luggage underneath the bed. So they were hiding there, coming up to bite us and then going back there. So we sprayed and we cleaned that. We checked every nook and cranny as best as we could. So that's you being offensive. And whenever you see any bed bug, you kill it right away. So that's you being offensive. That's step number three. The instant killing sprays usually have like a minty peppermint smell because bed bugs don't like that smell, but that smell is quite pleasant to human beings and they do a decent job. They will kill the bed bug right away. But step number four is equally important. But before we move to step number four, let me know in the comments below, what is the most frustrating thing about bed bugs. So comment below. Step four is you want to buy bed bug killing spray that kills for a long time. So what does that mean? In step number three, we got bed bug spray that kills instantly, meaning you see a bed bug, you spray. It comes in a can. You don't have like 
a lot of it but this time you want to buy bed bug spray that will kill over time it's called residual killing bed bug spray and what it does is that you can spray it once and if a bed bug walks over that it will die but not just when you spray that day or when it's still wet the bed bug spray that we got was able to kill up to eight days later so why is that important it's important because you cannot find every bed bug in your home they're just too many they hide too well and they come out at night when you're tired and you cannot find all the bed bugs in your home so what you want is something that will kill the bed bugs for you when you're sleeping this spray is more powerful than the spray that you use with your hand you know to kill any bed bugs that are in drawers or the nightstands this one is more powerful and what we usually did was what we, we would spray and then we would open the, the window so we would air out for i think like an hour or two but this spray would continue killing bed bugs for up to eight days and that's good that means whenever you are at work whenever you are sleeping if any bed bug walks over that it will die so that's step number four in step number five, you want to check for bed bugs everywhere. Bed bugs are masters at hiding. They are small, round, have oval shaped bodies and they're flat and they can hide in places that you don't think they would be hiding. They could be hiding right here, like in the seam of your t-shirt, you know? So what you need to do is make sure you check for bed bugs everywhere do things like wash all your clothes separate the washed from the unwashed and dry them on high heat for at least 30 minutes so you can kill the eggs all the way up to the adult and make sure that the spray that you get does the same thing the bed bugs that you see aren't the only bed bugs that you have so you have to make sure that the spray that you get can kill bed bug eggs as well follow the directions for spraying and also make sure that you check each and every place for signs of bed bugs look for things like blood spots if you're waking up with blood spots on your bed you most likely have bed bugs if you're waking up with bed bug poop black spots on your bed most likely have bed bugs if you see live bed bugs or if you have exoskeletons of bed bugs you most likely have bed bugs and the key to getting rid of bed bugs fast is to do all these things at the same time you are in a war here and you want to get rid of these bed bugs as fast as possible you don't want this to spread out and one of the reasons why People find that after you spray, you spray, the bed bugs seem to go away, but then they come back. We had the same problem. Is because you're probably only using one method. Maybe you're only spraying. Well, when you just spray and the bed bugs keep biting you, then they keep breeding. So you spray and they breathe. You spray and they breed. And you're not really winning this war. You have to make sure that they stop biting you so they can't breed, so they can't spread, and then you have to use methods to completely eliminate them and that is the fastest way to get rid of bed bugs to permanently get rid of bed bugs if you have a bed bug infestation you have to use a systematic approach and attack the bed bugs from all sides otherwise you're gonna have a long infestation and it's gonna be a long war you want to make sure you completely get rid of them quickly use a multi-faceted approach if you want some more tips click the link below where you can talk to me and i'll give you some personal tips to help you permanently get rid of bed bugs if you've been struggling with bed bugs and you are frustrated and you are overwhelmed and you've tried everything that you know and nothing is working schedule a free 30 minute call with me where i'll give you personalized tips to help you permanently get rid of bed bugs 
from your home. Also, I'm gonna give you the eight steps that we took to get rid of bed bugs right here from this bed. This bed was infested with bed bugs, but now we sleep in peace. So I'm gonna give you the eight steps that we took to permanently get rid of bed bugs from our home so you can permanently get rid of bed bugs from your home. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and share it so many people who are struggling with bed bugs can get help. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever new videos come out and schedule a video call with me so I can give you personalized tips so you can be free from bed bugs, so you can sleep like you used to sleep again in peace and not waking up to itchy bites and pain and scratches all the time, not sleeping. I want you to go back to having the best sleep that you've ever had. So make sure you give me a call so I give you some free personalized tips. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you watch these other videos over here. God bless, I will see you soon.